Black Widow is the first MCU film to hit theaters in two years, but was it worth the wait? Black Widow, the latest entry in the MCU, directed by Kate Shortland, starring Scarlett Johansson, of course, returning possibly for the last time as Natasha Romanoff. I have to say right off the bat, this is not going to be a spoiler review, so it's really just going to be my first thoughts and my reaction to the film, and I have to say right away that I did like the film. It's definitely an enjoyable summer blockbuster. It is a MCU film. There is a lot of MCU tropes in here, and there is a lot of formulaic Marvel stuff that I did really appreciate about this film. The cast is great. Scarlett Johansson, of course, kills it every time as this character. She's been doing it since Iron Man 2, and she gets better and better with each performance. The supporting cast is phenomenal. David Harbour is great as Red Guardian. I wish they would have given him a little bit more weight, a little bit more meaty scenes uh, to show off a little bit more, but the character is super enjoyable and is a very fun addition to the MCU. Florence Pugh definitely does the best job in this film with what she's given she is phenomenal I love her in most of the things that she's done so the fact that she absolutely crushes it here is not a surprise Yelena Belova is a welcome addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe and I think that a lot of people are gonna really love her performance as this character but I think the main saving grace of this film is the actors and the performances because they are really what help elevate the material in this movie I've wanted a Black Widow movie since we first got the character in Iron Man 2. I thought that they would do something really amazing in the vein of Captain America the Winter Soldier. Like a political spy thriller. Something a little bit more serious and a little darker in tone. But this film kind of felt to me more like an Iron Man 2-3 situation. Uh, it just didn't really hit the points that I thought that it should hit for this character. And, and every time they tried to tackle a serious subject... It would get cut a little bit more with that Marvel humor. I think too much, to be honest with you, in this film. Uh, like I enjoy the jokes just as much as the next guy. I enjoy that Marvel sense of humor. I like a little levity in my superhero movies. But it became a bit much at points because I really just wanted a little bit more meat to scenes. And when I thought that I was going to get that, they would interject with a joke. And it would kind of kill the atmosphere that they were trying to establish. Um, that being said... There are still a lot of great character interactions to enjoy. Unfortunately, due to the fact that this is a prequel, it is set after the events of Civil War, we already know what happens to Natasha, we've seen Avengers Endgame, so the stakes really suffer in this aspect because they have these crazy action set pieces that are really fun to watch, but there's no real tension there because we know what happens to this character, we've seen where this character's story ends, so we kind of feel safe as we watch these big spectacular moments take place. Probably the most disappointing part of this film is, I hate to say it, the villains. The main villain is generic, and Taskmaster may be one of my least favorite villains in the MCU, if not my least favorite. The character is almost unrecognizable in a sense. They are essentially a mute robotic uh, assassin. You could have really plugged any assassin character in this role and gotten the same results, so why did they decide to use Taskmaster? is beyond me. Like, if you know the character from the comics, you know how much more fleshed out this character could have been, and it could have been a really great antagonist for Natasha Romanoff to face. But they really dropped the ball on this one, and I have to say, it's probably the biggest sin of this movie. Uh, if you're a fan of Taskmaster, you're not, you're not going to love this interpretation of the character. There are a ton of Easter eggs in this film that I'll break down in another video, as well as giving my spoiler review. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and the notification bell to make sure you're there for those videos, plus the dozens of other videos we have coming your way. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you like these reactions and you want more of them. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.